is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. There were a couple of cousins who'd happened to inherit the same mansion from Grandma Ma and lived there together for most of their years. Couldn't have been two more opposite girls. The older one, Tammy, spent all her time primping and preening and tanning and steaming. The younger cousin, Agatha, was more of the bookworm type. Tweed was the closest thing to slinkies she ever wore. She'd pass her cousin Tammy lounging by the pool on her way out to some bird-watching expedition and comment about ozone in sunscreen. But Tammy'd give her no more notice than a stern warning to keep out of her light. See, Tammy only cared what boys thought, and there was lots of them. Tammy go dancing with Hugo one day and motorcycling with Juan the next. She'd yacht with Pierre and ski with Stan. This girl could get any guy she wanted. Why, some days there were so many fellas, of all sizes and shapes and looks, you'd think we were invaded by the army of the planet Macho. But settle down? Not yet. So many rays to soak up and so little time to soak. Years passed until one day when old Tammy decided it was time to walk down that aisle. She leafed through her little black book and settled on Spencer Stockwell. Right height, right weight, right bank account. Called him up, invited him over, and things progressed pretty much as planned. Lunch and poolside, poor duck. It was just then that mousy little Agatha decided it was time to update her exercise regime. She slipped on a little two-piece, and Cupid's arrow of love hit the bullseye, which in this case was Spencer Stockwell's heart. Years of tracking bird specimens had preserved her girlish figure. Her overprotected hair shone, and her smooth, flawless skin glowed like neon on a foggy night. Seems Tweed beats Peekaboo Mesh as a sunblock every time. Tammy was none too pleased. She retreated to her boudoir for some well-needed self-reflection in a very large mirror. Tammy was far from pleased at what was staring back at her. It was what she had long failed to recognize. She'd grown old before her time. Years of late nights and blazing afternoons by the pool had taken a terrible toll. But Tammy wasn't the kind of gal who was about to give up without a fight. Spencer Stockwell was the man she'd chosen and she would not lose him to some blanchy bookworm. Agatha's and Spencer's romance progressed quickly, but Tammy moved just as fast. She tried Egyptian mud packs, dead sea salt scrubs, electro-stimulation, all sorts of creams and lotions. Altogether, her efforts had a quick and decisive effect. She looked 10 years older than when she started, and the wedding was next week. All looked lost until the wizened Tammy stumbled on an ad at the back of a beauty magazine travel to the fountain of youth. Instant transformation guaranteed. Now, no female in her right mind would pay attention to an ad like that. But Tammy was not in her right mind. She was out of her mind, drowning in desperation. Tammy had just enough time to pack a bag and catch the next plane. She traveled to a jungle deep in the heart of South America. And there it was, the fountain of youth. Just as she had imagined it in a beautiful setting of lush flora and fauna, which Tammy had no time to appreciate. She drank and drank, and lo and behold, Tammy's furrowed brow smoothed, her sagging skin tightened. This Tammy could steal a playboy from her cousin with one firm but tender tricep tied behind her back. And there was no time to lose. The wedding was today. Plane to boat to bus to taxi, Tammy raced back to the mansion, steam curling, cinching, and crimping all the way. As the cab rounded the last bend, the butler closed the gates to the last limo. The orchestra struck up the wedding march. <laughs> Tammy's radiant new face beamed. She made it. They hadn't said, I do yet. But as Tammy raced up the front lane, the butler yelled, Oh, no, you don't. As far as he was concerned, this lady, whoever she was, didn't have an invitation. Tammy's own gate slammed on her lovely young face. This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. Oh, Tammy finally did walk down the aisle. But was her new hubby ever shocked when he lifted that veil? Come with a very limited guarantee. I miss them so 